Welcome to the latest installment of DocFo's Solar Experiments. It's our new 100 watt panel, which just arrived a couple days ago. And we're coming out the back of it with uh, positive and negative cables that were supplied with the panel. I did have to buy some extension cables, which I just have running along the floor here, up to the next component in the solar system, which is the solar charge controller. So we are coming in to the controller uh, right here where the little panel icon is. And the lights indicate that the solar power is charging the battery. So that's all positive. We're then coming out of the solar charger right here and going down to the battery. Now for this project, I did purchase a special battery a uh, so you can see it all here V max charge tank SLR 125 I'm coming out of the battery into my inverter and the inverter is upside down because it was easier to mount that way which gives me a thousand watts if I can go that far with power, meaning I gotta have a thousand watts worth of power, I guess, but uh, the most important thing is that the input is 12 volts and the output is 120, so it converts the 12 volt battery charge into the 120 current, which I have a plug plugged into that is running to my miniature camping refrigerator, which may be you can hear is running and I'm able to do that because the specs on the refrigerator only takes 1.3 amps and I've got 125 amp hours on this battery so I think I'm in good shape so what I have here is my camp solar system a solar panel to charge controller to battery to inverter to refrigerator, solar powered refrigeration.